What's up backgammon fans, Mark Olsen here. In this video, we're gonna talk about the golden point. What is the golden point, you might ask? Well, the term was coined by the legend himself, Paul McGrill. This is the Bible from 1976. Yes, it's a bit outdated of today's theoretical knowledge, uh, but for historical reasons, I would, of course, recommend this book. It's one of the most important backgammon books of all time. It's impressive how good he was in the 70s, just hand, doing hand rollouts, playing. The, the level of understanding he had was brilliant. But, uh, of course, you can compare it to today's uh, grandmasters. But he came up with the phrase, the golden point. So what is the golden point? The golden point is the most important game on the board. And it's the five point and the 20 point. So this would be my five point, it would be your 20 point, and this would be my 20 point and your five point. Those are the golden points. So if I have an anchor on the golden point here, I occupy your five point, anchor on my 20 point. Why is this so good? Well, it prevents you from implement, implementing all of your offensive game plans. You cannot prime me now because it's very difficult to form a priming structure in front of an anchor here on the golden point. You basically have to do something like uh, like this, but it's still an outfield prime, it's not so strong. So it prevents me from getting primed. You cannot impose priming game plan on me when I have this anchor. Also, it prevents me from getting closed out in a blitz. As long as I have this anchor made, Let's say I'm hit over here, you hit me, and you make a lot of inner port points, whatever, you make all these points. I always have this five to enter. So I can come in and I can su survive the blitz. As long as I have an anchor, I cannot get fully blitzed. Also, it's great for uh, the games where I am the one ahead in the race, because if I'm ahead in the race, I am in a perfect position to run with big doubles. If I'm lucky enough to get a big double, which usually you will get eventually. You're in a great launching position here to just running out to the outfield with a double five and getting your checkers home. So this is really, really powerful, getting that anger. The same is true on, on my side of the board. I don't want to get allow you to get this, this anger here on, on the golden point. So if you, for instance, let's say you open with a 5-4. You open with a 5-4. So a five and a four. The best way to play it is to split with a four and bring a builder down to the eight point from the midpoint. The split here, your goal is to come up with a four next time and make the golden point. So of almost all my rolls, I'm gonna hit loose if possible. So four, six, okay, that's not possible. That was an, was an unlucky move, but let's say I roll a one, four. My best strategy here is to fight for the golden point. That's how important it is. I'm fighting for the golden point and then I'm going to bring a builder down. This is a very aggressive play, but it's because the significance of the golden point is crucial. So I want to fight for the golden point. You have many misers here. You hit me a little bit more than half the time, but that's almost 50-50. So let's say that you are a little bit unlucky and you get a 3-1, right? You missed. So you come in with a three and you probably play something like this with the ace. Look how well positioned I am now. I'm flexible. I've got the five point slotted. I'm going to come in and make the five point next time. And maybe I'm even going to hit you loose again and continue the aggressive uh, strategy. So the five point and the 20 point, those are the golden points. It's the most important point in the game. A lot of beginners, they think that the bar point or the seven point is the most or are the most important points. This is not true. Let me give you an example. Let's say that uh, I am opening up here the opening roll with a two one. I get a two and a one. So I'm going to play it like this and I'm going to split my back checkers with the ace. Now you, you get a five two or something like this, something that doesn't really do anything. So you get a five uh, and a two. So you, you're going to split as well and you're going to bring, oh, oops, I forgot to put this checker back. So you're going to bring this checker down, a builder to the eight point. Now I'm roll a six one. A lot of players here, especially beginners or inexperienced players, they would make the seven point believing that the seven point is the most important point. It isn't. It's the golden point. 
So here you can make the golden point. It's much better. Why? Because not only is it a priming point, it's also an inner point. The seven point is only a priming point. It's not a point. It's not going to help you in a blitz. Whereas the five point will, if you get your opponent on the bar, now you occupy more inner board, inner board points. So it's going to be more difficult for him to enter. So the five point is the best point in the game. The second best point, what is that? Well, it's the four point. The four point is also better than the seven point for the same reasoning. It's a priming point and it's an inner board point. When we get deep to the three point a little, or a little bit deeper, it becomes a little bit uh, more close. Actually, the seven point is usually a little bit better than the three point. And the deeper you become, the weaker the point becomes. The same is true for the anchors over here. Like when you compare the, the golden point anchor with an anchor on the 21 point, it becomes weaker. And the deeper it becomes, the weaker the anger becomes. Why does it become weaker? Well, you're, you're more primed. You have less freedom with your back checkers. You need to escape the back checkers. So uh, the golden point is the most important game uh, point in the game of backgammon. Backgammongalaxy.com.